What's happening, Hero Squad, and welcome to our most wanted new release comics coming out for October 7th, 2020. We're going to be taking a look at some of the comics that we're looking forward to getting on that day. We're going to talk about some of the keys that are coming out, and we're going to talk about some of the variants that are coming out with those books. Now, this week we got a lot of books, so we got a little bit of action coming on the list. And just like you saw at the beginning of the video, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. And be sure to check out our Patreon in the description below. We're up to six patrons so far, and I thank you all. So that being said, let's take a look at what's coming out for October 7th. So the first book I'm going to be talking about is Batman 100. This is a 56-page comic issue, and has a cover price of $6.99. This is written by James Tynan IV and has three different artists on it, Danny Mickey, Carlo Pegualan, and the key about this issue is that it's the first cameo appearance of Ghostmaker, and it's the conclusion of the Joker War. The Joker War comes to a city-shattering conclusion as Batman battles the Joker in a brutal no-holds-barred duel. It's a fight 80 years in the making, and its outcome won't just change Batman's life, it will change Gotham City for years to come. Also, you can catch the first glimpse of a new villain known as Ghostmaker. And don't miss the first showdown between Batman and Clown Hunter. I talked about Batman 99 on my pick of the week video I did. It was my pick of the week. It's everything I look forward to reading in a comic, so I hope issue number 100 was as good as number 99. That was the cover A, but as you know, with Batman, this, there's like 30 covers for this one, so let's take a look at some of the variants. We were able to get the Shannon May or the Comic Mint exclusive variant. So this next variant has three different variants to it. It's the Miko Suwan Unknown Comics exclusive black and white virgin variant. There also is a color version variant, and there is a trade dress variant. There's a trade and version copy for this next one by Francisco Matina. And the last one is the Lee Bermay Hell variant. We talked about this variant on our variant show, and I noticed that half of Batman is hush. And when I saw that, I got really excited and I really wanted to get this cover. So up next, we have Wolverine number six. This is a 28 page comic with a cover price of $3.99. We have the story by Jonathan Hickman. The writer is Benjamin Percy, and the artist is Victor Bogdanovich. This is X of Swords, chapter number three. Descent, penance, and a legendary power reclaimed. The key to this issue is the new arch nemesis, Solomon. Marvel put out a statement that reads, Thor has Loki, Spider-Man has the Green Goblin, and now Wolverine has Solomon. Now, I don't know what the plans are with Solomon, if they really expect this to be a real big bad villain in Wolverine's future. But if you take a look at like Null in the Venom series, he didn't really come out of the gates really hard, but man, he's on fire now. And if Solomon has the same impact as Null did, I'm definitely going after a few covers while they're still cheap. We have the Miko Suyan cover, the trade dress in the Virgin. We have the Daniel Warren Johnson cover, as well as the Alex Ross Timeless variant. And to go along with that, there's a one in 100 sketch variant. Up next we got X-Force number 13. This is X the Swords chapter 4. This is a 28 page comic and has a cover price of $3.99. The story is by Jonathan Hickman and the writer is Benjamin Percy and has art by Victor Bogdanovich. This is one of my favorite X books out right now and the tagline reads Stealth, the power within, the burden of knowledge. So let's take a look at some of the variants that are coming out along with this book. We have a Marco Mastrazzo variant A and B, one is a trade dress and one is a virgin variant. They also have the Josh Kassara Fortnite variant. There's a variant cover by Eben Coelho. There's an Alex Ross Beast Timeless variant, along with the 1 in 100 Timeless Sketch variant. So up next we have Thor number 8. This is a 28 page comic with a cover price of $3.99. The writer is Donny Cates, the artist is Aaron Cooter. I really like this cover A. It reminds me of Venom number 16, when you see Dylan and Eddie sitting at the diner and all the action going on outside. And then here in the cover, you see the old man from the last issue fighting some kind of ogre. This issue is Hammerfall, part two of two. You get a Molnir, and you get a Molnir, and you get a Molnir. Everybody gets a hammer. Even me? Not you. That's right, come on down to Broxton, Oklahoma and pick up a Molnir for yourself. The famed hammer of the Thunder Gods is free for the taking. No worthiness required? I'm excited. This series has been a lot of fun so far and I'm definitely looking forward to this issue. You just saw cover A? Now let's take a look at some of the variants. We have the Lucio Perillo trade dress along with the Virgin variant. 
There's a 1 in 25 Nick Klein variant. We have the Alex Ross Timeless variant along with the Sketch variant. And the one I'm really looking forward to because I'm a huge Frankenstein fan, we have the Frankenstein Horror variant. And as a funny side note, according to Key Collector, this is a key because it's a hot series. Up next, we have Deceased Dead Planet, issue number four. This is a 32-page comic with a cover price of $3.99, written by Tom Taylor, and has art by Gigi Baldassani and Trevor Hare. Time is running out for the Justice League to unlock the anti-life cure as they face a deadly new threat on Earth, in addition to the billions of the undead. Their final desperate attempt at finding the cure will take them off-planet for the greatest heist in the history of New Genesis. That sounds exciting, so let's take a look at some of the variants that are coming out along with this book. First off, we have the cover A by David Finch, and we have the cardstock movie homage variant cover by In Hyuk Lee. It's pretty cool, you get to see all the Green Lanterns coming together to fight as one. And you have the cardstock variant by Francisco Matina. Up next, we have Die Number 14 by Image Comics. This has a cover price of $3.99. The writer on this book is Karen Gillen, and the artist is Stephanie Hans. If you like great art, if you like really good storytelling, if you like Dungeons and Dragons, this book is for you. In this issue, it's The Great Game Part 4, and the tag reads, Hey Stephanie, shall we do Die's take on the big battles in The Return of the King? Sure thing, Kieran. Can you add some big, emotional, messy beats to the visual splendor? Sure thing. Throughout, this has been a really good series. Not a lot of people are talking about this book, and if you like reading a book and it gives you a really good imagination while you're reading, this book is for you. This has a beautiful cover A, as well as one variant by Sana Takata. Up next, we have Batman The Adventures Continue, issue number 5. This is a 32-page comic with a cover price of $3.99. This is written by Paul Dini and Alan Burnett and has art by Ty Templeton. I don't know if it's the same for you, but whenever I see this, I think of Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill stuck in my head. Batman is scrambling as he learns the true identity of the man who's been stalking him and the rest of the Bat family. As Batman and Alfred reel from the revelation, Tim demands answers. Batman's greatest shame is finally revealed. I've loved this series so far. It's been really exciting. I really enjoy reading it. Robin's been working with Deathstroke. I think that's pretty cool. And maybe in this issue, we'll find out who Batman's stalker is. Now let's take a look at the two variants that come along with this comic. We have the David Nakayama variant. This is pretty cool. It looks like it's a cover for a cereal box with poison ivy on it. And we have the Sean Galloway variant. Up next, we have Champions Number 1 by Marvel Comics. This is a 28-page book with a cover price of $3.99. The writer is Eve L. Ewing, and the artist is Simone DeMeo. The key to this book is the first team appearance of Cradle, a task force to police underage vigilantes. This book is part one of five. The Champions Return in Troubled Times, a law's past that goes against everything Miss Marvel, Nova, and Spider-Man founded the Champions for. But the world still needs heroes, even if the world doesn't want them right now. This book and the previous one-shots that came out earlier this year have been getting a lot of hype and you've been seeing a lot of good prices on these books. So let's take a look at these variants. We have the Miko Suyan A and B cover, The Trade Dress and the Virgin. We have the Rion Gonzalez variant. And the book that we've been really seeing high prices on is the Peach Momoko 1 in 50 variant. We also have the Ron Lin variant. We have the Marvel Zombie variant. We have the 1 in 25 Pascal Ferry variant. And we have the Simone DeMeo variant. Up next we have We Only Find Them When They're Dead, issue number 2. This is a 32 page comic with a cover price of $3.99. Written by Al Ewing, has art by Simone DeMeo. The first issue of this series was amazing. It was almost my pick of the week. I can't wait to find out if they're gonna find a live god. The first issue was so exciting, it was so entertaining. I hope this issue is the same way. Captain Malik and the crew of the Vihan 2 escape from their tyrannic government and chart a course straight to the first living god they can find. But the only thing more dangerous than what lies ahead of them is who follows behind them. Let's take a look at the two variants that come along with this comic. We have the 1 in 10 incentive Raphael Albuquerque variant. We have the cover B by Tony Infante. So up next we have the Walking Dead Deluxe number 1. This is brought to you by Image Comics Skybound. This is a 32 page comic with a cover price of $3.99. The writer is Robert Kirkman, the artist is Tony Moore. It's time to revisit the historic independent series that took the entertainment world by storm 17 years ago. Follow Rick Grimes' journey again from the very beginning, but this time in stunning full color by the masterful Dave McCaig. In this series, it's going to feature an array of variant covers. 
Each issue is going to include a new installment from the cutting room floor. It's going to feature Robert Kirkman's original handwritten plots, along with commentary on abandoned storyline. And you get to see some of the things that may have changed along the way. This is a pretty cool inside look to what happened behind the scenes with their thoughts on the series. Up first, we have the Art Adams variant. Up next, we have the Charlie Adler variant. This also has the Julian Tedesco cover. And we also have the Tony Moore variant. Up next, we have Lonely Receiver issue number two. This is a 32 page comic with a cover price of $4.99, written by Zach Thompson and has art by Jen Hickman. I really love the first issue. It was my pick of the week a couple weeks ago. I read it five times. I had a lot of fun with it. It was really entertaining. Let's take a look at what's going to happen in the second issue. As she reels from a breakup with a throne, Catherine's life spins out of control. Everything about her existence was connected to her partner. Now she has no money, no ID, and no way to engage with the world. She's drifting alone in a sea of connection except for the pair of disembodied eyes watching her. A week of hours wasted in. Wait here, the eyes. In my wall, hate, they appear. Set in the new future, Drenched in pastels and sunshine, Lonely Receiver is a horror breakup story in five parts. If you like Ex Machina, if you like the movie Her, and if you like the TV show Black Mirror, you'll really like this series. There also is a 1 in 10 incentive cover by Leela Lays, and I'm going to try and pick up both covers. Up next, we have Miles Morales Spider-Man number 19. This is brought to you by Marvel Comics. This is a 28-page book with a cover price of $3.99. The writer on this book is Saladin Ahmed, and the key to this issue is this is the first cover appearance of Miles' clone. And the tagline reads, even if Miles lives, he dies. No one knows the full consequences when worlds collide. Are there aftershocks, echoes, doubles? Miles is already battling a man who shares his name. What does it mean when he finds someone with his face in his living room? Was this clone made or born? And which Miles will survive this saga? Find out when you read issue number 19. We have three versions of one variant in this issue. We have the scan trade dress A, we have the scan version B, and we have the scan version C. The last book I'm gonna be going after is Marvel Tales, the original Marvel Zombies number one. This is a 100 page comic with a cover price of $7.99. Written by Robert Kirkman and Mark Millar, and has art by Greg Land and Sean Phillips. The relentless Marvel zombies rise from the dead as we celebrate the legacy of House of Ideals with the era spanning Marvel tales. This anthology series shines a spotlight on favorite characters, features timeless stories, and highlights some of, the, of our most impressive talent from the past eight decades. There is one variant for this, and it's just the version of the cover A by In Hyuk Lee. So there you have it, Hero Squad our most wanted picks for new releases on October 7th, 2020. Comment down below what books you're looking forward to getting for this week. Are there any books that we missed or should we go after? Leave it in the comments below. But before you guys leave, please subscribe to Here on the Kid, give this video a like, and turn on the notifications. Join that notification squad so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. And be sure to check out our Patreon in the description below. We are Here on the Kid, and we'll catch you next time.